Hey, this is Dan with Honeymoon Always, and today we are at Sandals Negril. Sandals Negril is located in Negril on the Seven Mile Beach that is famous in Jamaica, and it is about a two hour shuttle ride from the airport in Montego Bay. So today it is a bit rainy, which happens when you travel during hurricane season. We've had a ton of sunny days and we'll share some of that footage with you as well during this video. But as you might be able to hear behind me, the rain really hasn't stopped anyone from having a really good time. In fact, we've really loved enjoying the pool during the rain. So we actually recommend that you take advantage of the lower prices during hurricane season. This is actually our second stop on the Ultimate Caribbean Honeymoon Tour. We've actually been in Jamaica for about three weeks and we will continue on from here. So we hope you'll subscribe, like the video if it's helpful, and you can check the description where you'll find links to the best deals when booking an all-inclusive resort in Jamaica and more information and insider tips from us. Sandals Negril is an adult-only, all-inclusive resort that has seven restaurants, five bars, and in our opinion, some of the best sunset views you're ever gonna see. It's really hard to describe just how long and stretched out this resort is. So I took a video of us walking from our room on one end of the resort to the other end of the resort. As you can see, it's really spread out so it won't ever feel crowded. And almost everyone has a beach view and a lovely sunset view and you're never gonna be too far from a pool or a restaurant. So first we're gonna show you the top attraction here and that is the beach. So this resort is right on Negril's famous Seven Mile Beach, which means that this is not a private beach, but it is really long and flat, and so it hasn't felt very crowded at all, and almost all of the suites are beachfront, which is amazing. Some of them are even swim-up suites, so you have a little pool and a view of the ocean, and a lot of the restaurants are either foot in the sand or really amazing sunset view, so that's really cool. So some of the resorts we've been to so far have had private beaches, which is really nice because obviously no one's gonna come and interrupt you. This is not a private beach, which means you might have people coming around um, saying things to you, uh, maybe trying to sell you something, maybe trying to get tips from you. And we've definitely experienced that. So something to be aware of, That's it's not a problem and it actually hasn't been too busy, but that does happen here. But also you're gonna be right next to a very sex positive resort and a nudist beach. So you're not seeing a lot of nudity walk through, but there's definitely other people who are walking on this beach. We did see a boat full of nude men um, drive across the other day. So always exciting here at Sandals and Grill. Here at Sandals and Grill, they have more water sports than any other sandals that we've been to. They have the typical ones like the kayaks and the stand-up paddle boards, but they also have a speedboat that will take you kneeboarding, wakeboarding, or tubing. So now we'll show you some of the things that we've been able to do during our time here. Okay, Negril is one of the best locations for water sports. We're about to go tubing. I think it's gonna be a little crazy. Let's go. That was insane, but so much fun. What did you think? It was good. Got a lot of wind in my hair. <laughs> Would you do it again? Yes, we'll probably do it tomorrow. Yes, for sure. While the beach is probably the main attraction here, there are three pools on site. Dan was able to play pool volleyball yesterday in the main pool. There's a second pool with a hot tub and then there's a smaller, more private pool that I think generally gets used by the people who have booked the swim up suites. a 
party happening in the main pool right now with a DJ. Even in the rain here, everyone's still having a great time. What's unique about these pools is as compared to other resorts we've been in, you can actually stay in them 24 hours a day. Like they're available. They don't shut down at five or six. And sometimes the DJ stays there until midnight. So if you really want to party, this is a good place for it. a rousing game of pool volleyball and are gonna go for a walk on the beach. This resort has seven restaurants and our favorite one is right behind me because it's right on the beach and they serve a la carte breakfast. So we usually spend like over an hour there eating breakfast because it's just a nice, enjoyable, relaxing place to eat. Now, if seven restaurants is not enough for you, you can go to Beaches in the Grill, which is either a 30 minute walk on the sand or a $10 taxi ride. One of the things we love about this resort are the suites. So we're gonna show you ours, which opens out directly to the beach. party we actually think that the swim up suites on the far end of the resort would be a great spot because you have that private pool area plus beach access it's pretty quiet over there and pretty far away from the action so we'll put a link in the description of this video to what we think is the best suite here one thing that absolutely blew me away about this resort is the sunsets they are truly next level i don't know if going during hurricane season had something to do with it but the skies were just incredible these sunsets made Sandals in a Grill one of our favorite stops in Jamaica. So all in all, this has actually been one of our favorite resorts we've stayed at so far on the Ultimate Caribbean Honeymoon Tour. We think that's because it's really beautiful. The sand and the beach is really nice. The sunsets have been gorgeous. It's pretty quiet, but there's still a lot of fun things to do. The staff has been great. So we've had a really good time relaxing and just really enjoying the natural beauty here. The only thing that's been kind of a con for us is just that it's not a private beach. And so you're dealing with, you know, random people walking by, but also that's kept things a little entertaining. So not all bad. If you want any more information about this resort or other resorts, you can check out the links in the description below, like and subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment, and follow along with us on Instagram at Honeymoon Always. We'll see you at the next stop.